Cristiano, looking back, same place. How did it feel like when you first walked down this tunnel? I remember the first uh, the first day that I was here. I was a little bit nervous, as you expect. That yeah. The stadium was full. I was with my family, a new apartment. Now it's completely different. I'm more relaxed, uh, more adapt, and it's good. Good uh, good memories. You feel this is your home now. Well, any moments that really stand out of your time here so far that you will never forget in this stadium? It was great. I, of course, I remember the first day, the presentation was amazing. I, I, expect, I expect what's happened because for them, it's, it was a special day too, not only for me and for my family, of course. True. But uh, the day was completely different and I, I, and I was very surprised. In, in many ways, and it was fantastic for me. It's it's one of my best moments in the football. When you do it, a presentation like that, it's always it's always good memories. Back in January. That press conference, you were so excited about winning titles and beating records. Today, how do you feel as we move towards the end of SPL season, but without the title? My expectation was a little bit different, to be honest. I expect to win something this year, but not always should be the way we think or the way we want. Sometimes we need patience, consistency and persistence to achieve the best thing. So. We improve a lot. Let's say, let's say this this last five six months. I think the team improved so much. Even the league, all the teams improve, and my team as well. It takes time sometimes, but if you believe and you think that it's your goal, I think everything is possible. So I expect to win something this year, but we we, we didn't. But next year, I'm I'm really positive and confident that things will will change and we go in a better way. So let's believe on that and working on that. Playing in Saudi, the fans, the talent, the, the quality, the infrastructure, the whole experience, was it as you expected? To speak about the league, I think the league is very good, but I think we have many, many opportunities to still grow. I think the league is good, it's competitive, we have very good teams, we have very good Arab players. The infrastructure, I think they need to improve a little bit more. Even the referees, the, the, the VAR system, I think they should be a little bit more, more quicker. And I think other small things, they need to improve. But I'm happy here, I want to continue here, I will continue here. And in my opinion, if they continue to do it, the work that they want to do it, for the next five years, I think the Saudi League can be in the fifth in the world. You know how much you do inspire people around you, especially in the team, and you raise their awareness and standards when it comes to training, health, diet, uh, longevity, and above all, work ethics. Exactly. Of course, my, my teammates, they, they felt already the way I am, my discipline, my ethic of work. It's not by coincidence that I play in high level Absolutely. for 20 years. It's not as they call the genetic. Well, the genetic, it's important, but the other factors, they are important too. Epigenetic, it's what you do with your genetic, it's yes. completely different. I think I help many, many um, other players, the way they see the fitness and it's way of life. You understand, to play football, it's you have to be focused, you have to concentrate, you have to be professional at least, and they do it the best you can. What has been the biggest challenge of you playing here in the Saudi League? We always, we always have tougher parts, yes, but as I told you before, in Europe we have the same issues. Now I can mention just to be, maybe because in Europe we're training more in the morning mm -hmm. and here we're training afternoon yeah. or night when you start the Ramadan, we're training 10 o'clock in the night. It was so strange, it's experience, memories, situations that they are different. I, I, I like to live that moment because this is give you um, you learn with that, with the True. cultures as well. It's difficult, but it's nothing that I didn't see before. People outside of Saudi 
might not know this, but 80% of the local population either play, watch, attend, or follow football. Does it feel like we are a nation that loves football? The Saudi fans, they are really, uh, they really love football, live to, like to like, to live the life, uh, and it's good. And a lot of big names are being connected now with playing in SPL. What would you say to any player who's planning to join SPL and follow your footsteps? If they're coming big players, big names, young players, old players, they are very welcome because if that happens, the league will improve. Age is not important, but competing players, young players, depend on many factors. How would you describe life in Saudi to those who have never been here like, and they want to hear it from you? Very good. If you want to come in here, you know, to have fun, to see the culture, to eat good. The Saudis live more in the night, which is, I think it's quite fun and interesting. And it's good if you see during the night, it's, it's very beautiful, the city. If you like to eat, coming to Riyadh, it's probably one of the best places I ever see with more quality restaurants. The most beautiful experience that I had here, it was when I was in the Boulevard World, which is something that I really enjoy. I brought all my family there. Yeah, we saw the pictures. Yes, 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 yes. But so far, very good experience. Family are happy. Schools for the kids, very good. And the things that the country uh, building for the future. I like to see different things, try different things. This is why I'm here as well. The next trip that I want to see, Alula. Alula. Yeah, yes. I want to I wanna go because I know that it's, it's very beautiful. And we travel around the country. You see many good places. Good to hear that from you, <laughs> Cristiano, really. <laughs> A message from you to your fans here and around the world. Thank you very much to supporting me every every year. Not only in the games, in the stadium, but of course outside in the street and in, uh, in the places that I go. I will be part of your culture. Uh, I will be here. I hope to enjoy the people with my games, with my performance and to winning things. Thank you for your welcome and I try to give my best, uh, the time that I will be here.